Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to turn all these lovely sprues that you guys have been sending in to me. Into an Orc Gorgonaut. Which I think hasn't come out too bad. Even with my, uh, my very badly painted uh, painting skills. Um, yeah, not too bad at all. So, okay, let's crack on. So the first thing I did was obviously to print out some pictures of a Gorgonaut. And I printed these out at the full scale. Um, as obviously I'm going to try and make this the right size it should be. So I'm going to be making this by using a combination of using the sprues as they are. And some sprues, obviously the gooey gooey sprue stuff. As this is the best way that I can make panels. So to make the gooey stuff, all you need to do is to leave some sprues in a jar full of acetone for around about 8 hours. Although I generally leave it overnight. And then it comes out nice and soft, so I can just take my rolling pin and basically roll it out into a nice flat panel. And there we go, it's got a few little marks and indentations, but on the whole, it's not too bad. So I'm going to start with a base, as I'm going to be making this out of sprues as well. And I basically printed out the shape of an oval, which is the same size as the base that this thing should be on. And then I've cut some sprue panel to the height I want it to be. And it's just a case of gluing that down onto the sheet. And then getting some more ooey gooey sprue stuff. And just sort of laying that in the middle of it. And the reason I'm starting this first is because it takes quite a while for this stuff to dry when it is pretty thick. Now I can leave that for a few days to harden up. And while it's doing that I can crack on with the main build. And using the panels I've already rolled out, I cut the shapes that make part of the Gorkonaut. So I like to roll my panels out, so they're only about 1 to 2 millimeters thick. I find this way they dry a lot quicker, and generally the panels seem to come out a lot better. So like I've done before, I've taken my sharp blunt tool, and basically poked the other side of the panel, so you get these kind of rivety looking things coming out. So I'm going to build a framework to hold all these panels on, and obviously to do that I'm going to cut up lengths of sprue, making sure to cut off all the nibbly knobbly bits first, so I don't want them getting in the way. And then I've drawn a rough sort of size that I need to sort of fit inside the guy. And then it's just a case of cutting them up, gluing them together, and making a kind of a box shape. So I have now got loads of boxes of sprues that you guys have been sending in, so thank you so much for that guys. So don't forget to leave some comments down below what you'd like me to make next, as I do read every comment that you leave. And you never know, next time I might be making something you suggested. So now I've got my box shape, I can start adding all the panels to it. And obviously one of the easiest ways of doing this is just to draw around what I've already made. And again, this stuff is so easy to cut with scissors. And as these panels are just sprues, they can obviously be glued together using cement glue, which is cool. So now I have got the rough body shape, it's just a case of now adding on bits and pieces to make it look more like the Gorkonaut. So I've added quite a few more bits on now which is cool, uh, but as you can see there's quite a few little gaps here and there. And the other good use for this ooey gooey spruey stuff is as a filler. So it's basically just, just a case of going around, filling in all these little gaps and cracks. And then once it's all dried and firmed and hardened again, I can then just go over it with a, and do a light bit of sanding. So now I'm going to start making the legs for this guy. And to do that, I'm going to make a kind of like a framework using the sprues. So it's just basically cutting them down to the size I need and cutting off all those all important nibbly knobbly bits, which I will save later to use to make gooey gooey spruey stuff. So I'm using my reference photo as a guide to the size I'm going to make this. As I say, I have printed this off the right size, so. This shouldn't be too far off how it should look in real life. So unlike my little teaser video, I do only use small amounts of glue when I do this kind of assembly. And it's just a case of gluing little bits on to build up the shape I need. There we go, the legs aren't looking too bad. They're a little bit skinny so they need a bit more bulking out. So adding a bit of the, uh, the ooey gooey stuff to them will help. Although I think these are now starting to look more like frog's legs than, uh, than robot legs. So I've added a few more panels to the uh, to the legs or the feet, and as I say it's just a case of really just bulking this out now by adding little bits on, filling gaps in with some filler, just to make it look more like it does in the picture. So the other good things with these panels is that you can make cylindrical shapes with them, and to do that all you need to do is get some sort of round bottle, wrap it round, 
And then basically I always attach a little bit of sellotape on it, just to keep it in place. And again, if you leave this for a good sort of 12 hours, 24 hours, then you'll be able to take it off the bottle and it'll stay in that shape. So I'm making these so I can make the shoulder pads and his weapons. And once they're hardened, you can simply cut the tape off. And then unwrap the panel. And there you go, it stays as a tube. Awesome. So as you can see with the legs, I've attached lots of little bits and pieces to them, little circles, little panels. And now, basically, they're ready to attach to the main body. And to do this, I was going to drill a little hole in the body, put a rod to go all the way through, because basically I want the legs to be able to support the body. So this build really is just a case of attaching bits as you go along. As well as obviously like the main bit, like attaching the legs, obviously I've attached some shoulder bits, I've put some more rivets on there. Um, yeah, so basically it's a case of cutting up little bits of panels and sprues as they are and attaching them. So here's one of those bigger cylinders that I made. I basically just attached a bit of panel at the back and now I'm going to just drill some holes in around the front as this is going to make up one of his main weapons. So to make up the claw that he has in one of his hands, I'm just going to stick two pieces of the sprues together and then I can cut them down and then glue them together and there we go, we've got one little claw. Just a few more to make. So this is definitely a fun little build and it certainly has lots and lots of little pieces to make to add on but I'm really pleased with the overall look and effect that's happening here though. Don't forget guys, if you can share this video on any kind of social media or with friends and families, that will certainly be much appreciated. So it's just his weapons now that need finishing off. And these thin bits of tube were made by basically getting some of the ooey gooey spooey stuff, putting it in the syringe and then just squaring it out and leaving it to dry. So I'm also going to make the, uh, the missiles that go on top of his shoulder. And to do this I'm just taking a sprue, shaving down the edges so it's kind of like roundish. And then just making it into a nice little sharp point. And then I can just attach these really small bits to the back. So they're like the little wings, I guess, that are on the, um, the missile. And there you go, one little missile. Or in this case, four little missiles. And there we go, I think they look pretty cool. So he's just about done now, he's almost ready for painting. I've even found a little old driver that can sit behind the main machine gun. There we go. So I primed it all in black as I was going to go for a rusty effect on this guy. As I seem to be able to paint rust effects better than I can paint just sort of like, well, normal painting basically. Um, I think the rust effects seems to hide a whole lot of mistakes in painting, well certainly in my painting. So that's kind of what I was going to go for with this guy. So everything started off okay and I did what I did before, basically putting a bit of grout in with the, uh, the brown paint just so that when it dried it would have a bit of texture to it and that seemed to be going okay. And then using a sponge I dabbed on the main colour which obviously in this one is yellow. Just like I did when I did the um, the Orc submarine. But for some reason, I don't know if it was the yellow paint or I don't know what it was. But it didn't quite come out as expected. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys decide what you think of it in a second. So it basically came out like a dog's dinner. I don't think the video really shows just how bad this looks. Um, the yellow seems to have a hint of green in it somehow, not too sure why. Um, but yeah, basically it looks atrocious. Um, I had considered just respraying the whole thing black and leaving it black. But I thought no, I'll get a different yellow. Um, and then yeah, so I painted the whole thing in yellow and this is how it looks now. Although the problem I still have with it is it looks too yellow. Uh, basically too clean looking. 
I seem to like my things to look a little bit distressed, a little bit used, and well, worn basically. So, yep, yeah, so I'm basically going to go over the whole thing with a black wash, um, like I typically do. Probably use too much black wash, but hey ho, that's just me. Um, yeah, black wash it, and then dab it with a cloth to remove some of it, just so it does look like it's a bit more worn, a bit more used, um, and seen some action really. So I'll have to admit, I really didn't enjoy painting this at all. Um, the last few projects I've built, I've not exactly enjoyed the painting, but I haven't minded the painting. Whereas this build, for some reason, I really wasn't happy with what was happening with it at all. Um, and yeah, when I'm not happy, it kind of puts me off and doesn't, and makes me not want to do any more to it. So I'm thinking, I might, what I might do, my next build, I might actually send it out to someone to, uh, to paint properly, just so it gets the proper treatment. As I really enjoyed the making, um, but so yeah, this really didn't come out as well as I, I'd hoped. Painting wise, anyway. So, because there was quite a few rough areas where I put obviously the paint with the grout, I'm now going over it and I'm just going to do a few little rust effects here and there. Um, but again, I really wasn't enjoying this bit at all. Um, so, yeah, loved the build, really hated the painting on this one though. So even with the abysmal paint job on this, I hope you enjoyed the build guys. And don't forget, let me know what you'd like to see next. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell as I do produce videos each week. As always, a big thank you to all my patrons for helping to support the channel. As one day I would like this to be my full time job. Not that making things and having fun is a full time job. It pays the bills. Yahoo! Okay guys, that's it. Bye for now.